Well, here we go. Day one of the main send. Uh, we're just about packed up. I've got my suitcase. I bought this gun the other day, and I don't know where to put it. So I'm gonna put it in my suitcase. It's a Q Honey Badger, and we're gonna use it up in Maine. But it's not loaded, it's not live, it's all good, so don't sweat. I know there's a clip in there, but there's nothing in the clip. That's where our life's at right now. I'm packing guns into my uh, clothing suitcase. My suitcase, I usually pack clothes in. But everything's looking good, everything's fine. We lost Cole, where'd Cole go? Where's Cole? We probably should get going. Right? I mean, maybe if you were responsible and you didn't drink last night, we'd be on the road. I didn't drink last night. No. Like, I'm sorry. I don't drink. What do people normally you just, do? It shower? just takes you so long. I was dirty. Okay. Cool. I jumped in the pool last night. I had to get the cl chlorine out of my hair. It makes my scalp itch. What's the matter with you? I'm drinking hard because I don't feel so good this morning. So, normally when we go on these fishing trips, it's just bass, 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 bass. That's all we've been doing since March. But we're going to freaking Maine. We're going to the Northeast. And one of my favorite fish to catch in the Northeast is. None other than striper. So I'm bringing all my striper rods, all my big saltwater rods. I'm pretty pumped to put these guys to action. You ever used one of these rods before? What are these? Saltwater rods. Don't touch. Just look. They look nice. Don't touch. Just look. They look good. Do they? So what are we gonna be striper fishing tomorrow, or how much time we have in the car? Oh, uh, just eventually. I mean, well, I don't think they'll fit in the car. To Maine from here? Mm -hmm. Oh, like three or four hours. Yeah. Yeah. Plus thirty. So like thirty-three hours. And then plus another. Plus another, however long we drag our asses yeah. to work. Yeah. It's gonna be a doozy. Boys, I think we're ready. What is this? You did a half out here. Oh, hey, right here, right here. Right here, right here. There he goes, there he goes. Now, AP, AP. Come on, come on, John Johnson over here. JV, JV, tight end right here. Here's a quick lesson. Don't buy a half-size truck. Okay? Don't don't get whatever this is. This ain't it. That ain't it. Got it? Slow. Slow. The other one now is pinned. Slow. Somebody use the other one. Alright. Back more, a little bit more. Back. Back. Oh, jeez, too much. A little bit. Forward. Up. Oh, too much. Well, this is it. We're officially leaving. The boat is hooked up to Perrick's truck, and we are now bound for a 39 hour drive up to the cabin in Maine. Stinky, you ready? Where are you just looking at there? It really do be beautiful outside right now. Buddy's on TikTok. Can you do this? I'm starting the, the first shift. So which I'll drive is like an hour? First, the hour and a half. He's gonna drive go. the first hour and a half. Okay, nice. All right, we'll see you guys there. Doing. And you know, all my co pilots, we've been on the road for one hour exactly, and just do a little pan. Oh, look, Cole's up. <laughs> um, we're in Texas, the land's flat. There's a tree over there. See any armadillos? Uh, no, I haven't seen that. I've seen a lot of grass and a lot of flat land here. Is that good? Yeah, good. Is it one more time? Every time we launch the boat, I'm just gonna have to walk back. Literally. So we'll go buy something. There's, there's ways, there's ways. Okay, uh, we're here in Louisiana. First stop, gonna grab some some crawfish, some shrimp. The land of lifted trucks and sweaty people. Can I get some five small eggs? Is that appetizer well? Thanks, John, for that. Um, I'm kind of getting used to this whole mic deal, so we'll see what happens. What do you think about this? <laughs> it's just like literally just passing the mic around. Like, if you go to Louisiana, if you're driving through, if you're visiting, there's like one thing you need to get. A couple things: crawfish, shrimp, gator, redfish, all that. Just seafood. To sum it up, you just need to get good seafood. I don't know. If, I don't know if gator qualifies as seafood, but it's so good. You need good Cajun food. You just need, yeah, I'm sorry, Cajun food, that's what you need to get. So we got, we got two types of shrimp. We got swamp fries, which I don't know what that is, but it is delicious. And we got little gator bites. 
This is a good way to start the truck. Swamp fries are Cajun fries yeah. with um, crayfish, queso, bacon bits, and onions. Wow. Sounds good. Does it taste as good as it sounds? Mm. Mm. He's slapping it. Yeah. Boy's slapping it. Well, it's a bit rainy this morning. Welcome back, guys. It's day number two on the road trip. Uh, kind of cut the video short last night because a, we didn't get in until 5 a.m. And B, we were just very tired and there really wasn't much to film, so we just said, you know what, screw it, let's bend it. Let's just pick up the video tomorrow, that being today. But we're in North Carolina, we're staying at Alex's parents' place. They've got a sweet little pad up here. I would show you the view, but it's just, it's, it's literally dumping right now. But we're gonna stay here for a few days, gonna fish some areas in North Carolina. I'm pretty pumped about that. Just have some fun, uh, taste some white claws, do some white claw tasting, that kind of stuff. But yeah, we were gonna fish today, it's 2 p.m. And it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Do you have the wrong camera? No, this is for John's channel. Just go with it. It's okay. <laughs> Let's just go with it. Here we go. What has John done for the past two days? Absolutely nothing. It's hilarious. Like, even I filmed the video yesterday, yeah. caught some nice trout. What was John doing? Taking a nap all day. He slept all day yesterday. Today, we're getting back on the road. We've made it from Dallas to North Carolina, North Carolina. We don't really have a destination. We're just gonna go that way. <laughs> I like this. I like how <laughs> Perrick is cold filming right now. Perrick's asked, pleading Cole to film for him because he doesn't have a cameraman. And I've got, of course, Alex helping me. And now Cole's filming for me. Anyway, well, long story short. cameraman sh asked me. Long um, story short, it's been raining for the past two days in North Carolina and it's given me seasonal depression. So I've just been, I literally slept all day yesterday. We hadn't fished. These boys got on the river, caught some fish, which is cool, but we figured to cut our losses and we just get right back on the road. We hey still guys, have if you want to see like a fishing channel, hit the link in the description. Go check out my video from yesterday. Um, <laughs> Well, you need those subs. are you sure this video is going to go up in time for your video to go up in time or? I'm back to daily. <gasps> <gasps> Hold the press. He just said he's back to daily. Where's the asteroid? It's going to hit this earth somehow. What was that? You're just eating shit. Oh, is that part of your truck? Hey, wait, did you tell people why your truck doesn't have a tail light anymore? Yeah, you're just sleeping here and all that. That, uh, that happens. That happens. Yeah, chip's going good. There's a quarter in the car. Yeah, we have a quarter. It's, it's too big. How you doing there, guy? Oh. He's putting tape on it, so that's not gonna. Our that's brains. not gonna work. Tape is not gonna work. Yeah, it will. You think tape's gonna work? Yeah. We'll totally hold it there. We have a broken trailer. That's what's going on. We actually broke a truck, trailer, everything. We're just trying to get in an Airbnb. We're tired. Things just aren't going our way. Ease it in. Yeah, this is gonna be a cool spot. Like today's just gonna be cool. This water's real clear. Well, it's just weird because you've got two different cultures. You've got the clash of like freshwater fishermen and then also saltwater guys. Hi. Getting geared up out here. About to fish the Chesapeake Bay for the first time ever in my entire life. It's gonna be fun. We're with a viewer today. His name is Tyler. I don't know how we ended up in Maryland, but we're here. Actually, when we filmed our last Chirps podcast with Perrick, me, and Cole, the one state that we said we weren't going to go to was Maryland. And somehow this is the first fishing trip that we're going to do on this whole Maine send. Well, so basically we're going to fish our way up to Maine. You're going to go from one state to the other. Probably skip a few states. Definitely going to skip through like, what's that one state that Mike lives in? Maryland? <laughs> probably not going to go and stop there. Absolute dunces, but it's gonna be fun. We have the opportunity to catch not only largemouth, but a fish that I've always wanted to catch since I was a kid, that being a snakehead. This is such a weird ecosystem. Just look it up, Chesapeake Bay. It's a brackish water system. You've got the best of both worlds, freshwater, saltwater, mixed into one. Is that current? Yeah, it is. Damn, this is gonna be sick. So stick with it, stay tuned. This is stop number one on the send. Let's go get them. That was so sick, man. I gave it one big pop. <laughs> First fish of the trip. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. I've never been to Maryland before. This is my first time here. 
and I'm stoked that we made the stop just because this is such a unique place. And that is my first bass of the trip. They look different than Texas bass. Real green. Look at that blotch. It's a redfish. <laughs> That's cool. Nice first bass of the day. Oh, look at the greens. What a beauty. Dude, they fight hard in here. She was thick. She was a thick bitch. She do be double cheeked up though. <laughs> Ah, we did it. Oh, we're taken out of the water. That spot was good, not great, so we're gonna go try to find some more productive stuff. Stop right there. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, God. <laughs> Just slam on the brakes next time. Holy <laughs> shit. sent me off my own boat. But we're gonna go try to find some grass. Snakehead lake grass, bass lake grass, so we're gonna go actually take the boat out and relocate. Not show this? It's all right. It's fine. <laughs> upside down, you dumbass. <laughs> it's upside down. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. Oh. First of all, before I get roasted, it's because the hole puncture was up here, so I couldn't like redo a puncture. <laughs> he's, he's complaining. Yeah, let me let me show you how you do it. Perry did a nice little uh, shotgun there. By nice, I mean it was miserable. So we're gonna go give this a go. This is what we need to get snake out right now. Welcome Maryland. <gasps> We're in the fourth quarter right now. We're trying to kick her in a high gear. These guys aren't easy. Snakehead are not a simple fish to catch. And a lot of you locals here in Maryland probably thinking, what's wrong with you? These, I catch these all the time on accident trying to go for bass, but they're being very elusive today. We've seen some. We've had maybe a few opportunities. Perrick's had a lot of opportunities. Uh, we just can't seem to just connect. So we're gonna try to connect. This is uh, a good thing though, because it's an incoming tide. The sun is shining. Apparently they're fish that like heat. So. Everything's starting to mesh. Hopefully that results in a nice big fat bite and we can go home fulfilled and get back on the road and go catch some more fish, different fish. Snakehead, we're after you. Funny. You hang up on him? Nice. <laughs> like, how do you think... I don't know if he's still on, he's dude. On. I don't know if he's still on. I don't know if he's, he's, he's still on, dude. He's still there. He's, he's still, still there. there. He's still there. It's a large drop. <laughs> <laughs> this was recording, thank God. <laughs> you're f You're so f I've never, Ooh. I've literally never caught a fish where it's required two people to reel it. <laughs> what was the hook set? I hope they got it on camera. That was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> literally, we're sitting, I'm sitting here watching memes about Peric on my phone just because the bite is so slow. And I'm like, and I'm like, yeah, sure, dude, use the frog. He's been throwing the fly all day. I'm just like, whatever, man, just use the frog. I'm sitting on my own boat. That's how slow the bite is. Usually I go ambitious, keep fishing every stunt mentality. Whatever. He gets bit, sets the hook. You know Mikey Balls? Yeah. You see, that was <laughs> just like a Mikey Balls hook set. So it's like the rod goes in the water. I'm like, he starts laughing. You don't even go for the rod. I'm like, what you do? I pick up the rod and I start reeling this fish. That's hey. hilarious. Dude, got him. Got him, boys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm praying to God the GoPro got that because... Yeah, this it's... is like uh, solid, you know. I thought it was a snakehead. <laughs> Pissed off. It's a largemouth, though. It's worth it. This has been a tough day. We've been fishing this specific spot of the Chesapeake Bay for, I mean, three, four hours. Don't release it yet. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> we've been fishing this spot in the Chesapeake for like three or four hours. No luck. No bites. Legit, like, legit nothing. But the reason why we keep fishing here is because we're seeing snakeheads, so... We know they're in the area, we see them surface. It seems optimistic, but we just can't get another bite. And a largemouth comes out and destroys the frog in some grass. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my time. That, that made my day. Yeah, like that, that moment. All was, worth it. All worth it. Every, every. You said, oh my God, and the rod just flies in the air. Everything's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad she's got it. 
I wish Perk was right there to see that. <laughs> hey, put it there. We crushed it. We crushed it. That's what it was. Teamwork. Teamwork. Took two guys to be on a one pound bass, but hey, we got it done. Got it done. Fish hit the, the carpet. You. We're out. What, what did we end up with? How many bass? Eight or nine. Eight or nine? We got, we got eight or nine bass. Um, zero snakehead though. The target species was not acquired. And we had, we had many opportunities, like so many opportunities to catch this fish and I just could not hook him, so. It's okay, John couldn't hook him or find him either. Yeah, so, I, I mean, maybe tomorrow? There's, al there's always another day. Probably not. This is what we were living in for the past few hours into vegetation. We uh, may not have caught that big uh, elusive snakehead, but we had good time. Caught some bass, caught some largemouth. I can now say I've fished the Chesapeake Bay. All thanks to Tyler showing us around. Uh, thanks for putting up with us, by the way, man. I know that was a lot of work, especially with Perrick in the boat. <laughs> Did you talk about how you got thrown in? Yeah, Perrick got thrown in. We'll play that clip right now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was a good time. This is a wicked, cool place like it's it's crazy to fish like what appears to be a lake that has a tide that has snakehead striper largemouth there's no other place like this in the world in my opinion and we can cross off our list now it's time to move on to the next thing we're gonna organize this go of a boat and uh figure out where we're gonna fish next as we still have would you have to guess alex probably like 800 800 more 800 miles more, 800 more miles i almost cried saying that 800 more miles let's clock it up It literally is detached the now. The post is? The post is now moving. That's the problem. Mm. And I've, I've realized that when, when you guys went to start, like, go fishing, I was like, what the wrong? I tried to tighten it, and I kept going. I'm like, why isn't it going? The whole post is moving. You don't even I mean, it's already screwed, so what's You're the difference? You're not going to buy the new PC, either. Like, probably not. Hard, right? Yeah, probably not. I'll take electrical tape. The, um... I don't even know if I'm trying to be technical. I don't even know. I was just trying to keep it together. <laughs> Alex, get in here. Oh, yeah, I'll be in touch. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank you, you so guys much. ever want to come nice back? Nice meeting you. I'll let you know when we're on. I can, I can be on the road in an hour. Easy. Easy. <laughs> we're going to get some crab. We just said goodbye to Tyler and the crew. It's been real. It's been a lot of fun. It's going to be it's hard. So we're, we're probably going to link up with these boys again and fish them in Maine or something like that. But right now it's crab time. we got to get some Maryland crab. You got crabs? Hey Cole, how you doing? <laughs> I have a dog too, is that okay? Hey, hey, hey. hey. Just, just What's the matter with you? Stop rods. working. <laughs> we're about to get going, come on. Well, this might be the most ridiculous mission we're about to go on. Welcome back, guys. Good to see you. I uh, had to start off the intro with Michael's beautiful face. I don't know if, when's the last time they probably saw him on my channel? It's been a second. But we're, <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna punt you. I just, stop barking. Oh gosh, should I just leave my dog in the car? What's the deal? <laughs> All right, guys, this is day number two in Maryland. Yesterday, we tried for snakehead and failed. So we figured we'd call the man, the myth, the legend himself, One Rod, One Reel, aka Mike. And uh, this is his home state, so he's gonna show us how to catch these snakehead. But this spot is private. It's not. No, it's not private. It's just. It's, it's just abandoned. not public. It's abandoned. It's abandoned. Yeah, uh, that's right. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, cool. I'm pretty excited for this. But uh, yeah, we're gonna bring Lucky too. She's barking her nut off right now. Hey, 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 Lucky. Lucky. Why are you so mean? Why are you barking all the time? Basically, this is our last chance to catch a snakehead before we head up to Maine, and uh, it's basically Hail Mary, so I'll see what happens. <laughs> you gonna upload again, or? Yeah, yeah, I'll upload. Are I don't know, squad, it might not, 2020 might not be my year. You guys might have to wait till 2021. Oh my God, they can't wait that long. <laughs> I love how the first thing I see in Mike's car 
is a case of white claws. See you, buddy. It was great seeing you. Hey, Thanks for try. the snakehead attempt. Come back for the snakeheads uh, okay. later on. I'll, I'll get you on them. I love you. Well, gang, that was short-lived. We're gonna. We're now gonna send it up to Maine. We were gonna mess around in Massachusetts, go for striper. But we still, we have so much time to do all that. I think no. right now, what's wrong? What are you doing? Can't that ain't it. Uh, I think right now we're just gonna head on out of here. Say peace off to Maryland. It was real snakehead, not real. I don't believe in snakehead. And uh, I suppose we'll just meet you guys on the road. What do you think, Cole? Cole, can you like type in a gas station? Wawa. Wawa. How you didn't like Wawa's? Yeah, what happened with that? Five I minutes. don't want their food yeah. anymore, but I will drink their smoothie. Oh, but he likes Wawa smoothies. I mean, their smoothies aren't bad for how quick they are. Yeah, true, true, true. True, 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 true. True, 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 true. Okay, I'm sweaty. Oh. You're telling me you're not going to get a smoothie.